Baby, you got to love it. I'm us in the morning. 20, 20 sports. <laughs> Two outs, ninth inning. The windup and the 3-2 pitch. Bounce up the middle. Oh, my gosh. Second baseman Liriano with a throw-off balance. Galarraga has a base hit, and that breaks up the no-hitter. A close call in Pittsburgh. Good morning. Chick Breen with sports. Greg <laughs> no, Brown no, with the call no, of no, the near no-hitter. No, no, no. Not Chick Breen. I like that one. Well, we don't. <laughs> got a lot of positive response. We have a Chick Hearn in L.A. Is Chick yeah. Hearn is still alive, by the way? Yeah, he's on his 2000. 755th game, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's the truth. Yeah. Chick Hearn. Why don't you call no. yourself Windows 77? <laughs> <laughs> Pirates' Paul Wagner was one out away when Andres Galarraga broke up his no-hit bid. The good stories you always hear, it's a 3-2 pitch in the bottom of the ninth or the top of the ninth, and, and you just throw it, and, and the guy will miss it. And I was like, okay, maybe that'll happen this time. I did a 3 2 pitch and I saw him swing, and I was like, uh oh, he didn't miss it, did he? <laughs> wow. Man, where do we get these people? In tennis, a tough win for Steffi Graf. The voluptuous top seed defeated Amanda Kotzer in a grueling three set match that left both players perspiring. Their tightly fitting tennis shorts that clinging looking. to their taut bodies. We just don't need oh, to go here. Their ample breasts. This is not anywhere we need to, you know, go. Yeah. Krav said the reason she had problems, she was distracted by an extremely attractive man in his mid-30s, sitting at about the sixth row. Krav said she made eye contact with the handsome fan. And like, um, I just say, twinkles the eye to me. Like, so, um, I'm like, yeah. Graf then won the next two sets and advanced to the second round. You know, interestingly enough, that cut actually is uh, is her talking about making eye contact with Patrick Ewing <laughs> <laughs> at a Knicks game. Huh? Wasn't it? That's the truth. Uh, man, what's, what's happening there? You're ruining the fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> for the man, Andre Agassi, no problems with Brian Shelton. Straight set win on hand for Agassi was Brooke Shields. All I can do is love love him and, and give him the support that he needs during this time. All you can do is stop eating, <laughs> sweetheart. How about that? Come on, man, take off that oat bag. How Brooke about ate, that? Brooke ate the second most amount of hot dogs yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a, you know, let's not make a huge deal of this. Why not? I had a couple of hot dogs. I mean, how... There has not been more food consumed since the Berlin airlift. What are you talking about? First of all, you're the only person who could afford five hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> the I'm the program. Uh, why are we trying to give away these? <laughs> What'd you say? I, I said can't. No. I can't I go to. I? I can't go today. So, well, I'm going to go tonight. Your stomach's full. <laughs> <laughs> he ran out of jeans. <laughs> so, so we want to send some. <laughs> we want to, what's the matter here? So we want to send some white trash to the U.S. Open. Here's Steve from uh, Mastic, New York. Good morning, Steve. Morning. How are you? Okay. What? Steve, uh, Steve, you ain't gonna last long here. <laughs> just mad, Steve. You have a radio show? Well, I'm definitely white trash, I man. Why? About ninety-eight percent. Well, I'm not 100%. I'd be listening to a different radio station, wouldn't I? Oh, yeah. Well, that's true, yeah. You would, you'd <laughs> be listening point. to Howard Stern. If you're yeah. Real, yeah. Well, the Mastic Shirley area is the white trash capital of the East Coast, you know. What do you do for a living? Fix trucks. That's a good start. It's working out. Yeah, yeah, yeah very good. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll, I'll do you real proud if I go there. <laughs> you know, I'll uh, sneak my own beer in. Mm -hmm. I'll eat more hot dogs than you. Yeah. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> 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 you know, uh, do you know Pat O'Brien? Uh... I heard of him. Pardon me? I heard him. Have a, have a nice afternoon. <laughs> <laughs> could, you, could you describe Pat O'Brien if you had to? Yeah. Okay, what does he look like? Uh, he looks like in his early 40s, uh, glasses. Mm -hmm. Good looking guy. Yeah. How's the hair? Uh, a little thinning on top. Yeah. Very thin. You know, Pat, what's How many mine? trucks are you fixing today? <laughs> <laughs> you ain't going to the open. <laughs> you go in the open, I'm walking out of here. I know. Would it be appropriate to, uh, to yell at the hot-looking female players to show their breasts? <laughs> yeah, this guy. <laughs> yes, it was. Yeah, yeah absolutely. absolutely. Let me tell you something. It was yesterday afternoon. <laughs>